Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case War District Case 52 Double Trouble. Let's unlock Edge of Darkness number 4. A day of Hello's arrest has led to a worrying realization. Somebody is clearly trying to pit the US and UFI nations against each other. Oh, Jack's colleague. Carvick, Tria, good job getting to the guy who shot me. I should have known the security guy was hinky. I still can't believe Sora managed to infiltrate the Unified Nations. Sora may be pretty crude, I don't fear anyone. Let's continue. Could you come by when you have a moment? I have something important to ask you. Sure, buddy. We're on our way to the hospital. Katria, yeah, I'm so glad Jack's feeling better. Katria, yeah, Leila Malak, Unified Nations High Commissioner is here and she... I'll take you from here. In fact, Katria, you better have answers as to how such a bleeding attack on the U.S. could have happened on U.S. soil. Miss Malik, it's more complicated than you think. Please, come this way, Inspector will tell you everything. Katya, okay, I think Jack will have to wait a bit longer. <sighs> so that's what the Central Darkness is supposed to be, huh? US versus UN. Alright, let's go talk to Layla. So you're claiming that one of the top security agents at the UN was actually working for a criminal organization? I'm oh, sorry, I don't buy that. Unfortunately, it's true. Hero admitted it himself. You have to show me proof before I believe the story about Hero being with this somber thing. Sounds like you're trying to deflate the US responsibility in Victor's murder. Hey, I'm not lying, it's true! The Brio knows for a fact that Sombra exists. Hey, it's not the first time they are starting a politician unrest for their own gains. But Inspector is right. If you need proof, he'll bring you proof. I'm sure you understand, Inspector. You can't take anyone's war regarding such allegations. But the Unified Nations will be happy to provide you with any funding you need to complete this research. Okay, thanks for money. How could we prove that Hell was working for Sabra? It sounds like they sent him a paycheck. Excellent point. The Hell's plan rested on Vertinus' visit to Barry Strait. Let's check the weapons factory again. Damn it. You don't trust us. We'll see about that. Alright, and let's go visit Jack. What's up, Jack? Do you need your pills fluffed? No, it's about Lars. You know, we are bros. Or so I thought. He hasn't been to see me once. You know he's been busy helping us find who shot you. Between this case and being a single dad? I know, I know, but can you check up on him anyway, Katria? He'll set my mind at ease. Sure, Jack. We'll track him down for you. Now, get back to resting. Okay. Jack seemed upset that Lars hadn't been to visit. What the heck is Lars, anyway? Last I saw it, Lars said he was going to the Calais to clear his head or something. The trip is most exhaustive. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can find him by the Calais. What are you doing, Lars? We'll see about that. Let's first rescue production line and find some proof that Heller was a Sombra agent. I definitely need this wallet, but I can't pick it up just yet. I knew it. That wallet could be Heller's. Let's look inside. Okay. And now let's investigate Calate. Let's see where Lars went. Up. What's this about? I 
I'm still large anyway, but yeah, did you find anything? Subtle wrap paper? Why, well, trust your ASIC pieces together. Okay. Alright, first let's search this wallet. Local bartender to be friends. Moose today's forecast. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh wait, weather report. Does that mean? Oh, that weather report is a wall. It could be the proof we need. We know Sabra communicates through weather reports sometimes. Let's get this weather report, Elliot. Who know if it's a Sabra message? It probably is. How long? Nine hours. Alright, now this torn paper. Alright, looks like a kid drew this and text was Lars's. Yeah, really super gray like that. This paper looks like doodles and a poem or a song. Listen to this, you're really super great. Like that time in 8080 when I made the rugby team. And there it goes, you rock like granite slate. Other people do not rate. You are awesome in extreme. I have no point, but could Lars have written this? Maybe Marina will know. But what? I can identify the handwriting myself. Okay. Let's just send lyrics to Marina. Let's first check out this weather report and is it Samra? Heck, this weather report corroborates Heller's story. It was definitely Samra code and the order was to kill Vertri in a very public way. That's perfect. Now Miss Malik will have to believe us that the Samra agent was responsible for the murder. You're not serious about showing a weather report to the UN Commissioner, are you? But Chief is proof that... You can't just go away and claim secret messages in weather reports. Katia, I want you to talk to Hillary again and you have to prove from him. Now. Katia, I think I can make Hillary talk. Let me come with you. Alright, you can come with me. I think we're gonna need you now. <laughs> Alright, now this lyrics did Lars write this. Katia, these lyrics are really sweet. If somebody wrote a song like this for me, I'd never be sad again. I didn't know it's a song and not a poem. This is Lars's handwriting. Yeah, compare it against his psych file. If you all know, Lars fancies himself a musician. Anyway, the lyrics are misleadingly simple. They show one thing. Lars has finally turned a new leaf after Angela's betrayal. I think as Lars is taking it again, is that a bit fast? Well, I'm not saying he's dating, but there's clearly someone on his mind. How I worry about you tearing out the song. Cause yeah, I like you to talk to Lars and make sure he's not repressing his emotions. Would you mind coming with me? If you're looking for Lars, you just saw him in the cafeteria, mumbling to himself. Looks like you could use some consulting. Are you following him, Elliot? Are you? Let's first interrogate Heller. It's basically yeah, what a lovely surprise. Miss Hell, I hope you don't mind if I sit in on this interview. I'm Marina Romanova, the Peru psychological expert. It's rare to see a criminal mind like yours at work. I just couldn't resist. You think your sweet talker will get a peep out of me about Sabra? You're dead wrong. Ah, oh, I wouldn't insult your intelligence with such an obvious ploy. Just look at the way he set up this devious murder. The US already blamed the US for it. The US neighbors says US stake and pay was fun. But Sabra has bigger ambitions on the international stage. It was, it was time to raise the stakes. Now I can sit back and watch the international community tear itself apart, undermining the strength of governments until Samra's ready to strike. Now if you excuse me, it's time for my meal. Hardly if I stop, but what can you do? Katia, yeah, Heroes give us enough food for thought. Let's discuss the over a meal. <laughs> Katia, yeah, Hero couldn't, <coughs> couldn't help giving away something of Samra's plans. The U.S. neighbors, the U.S. state conflict was just the first step for international divide and conquer plan. But try to it's more urgent than ever to get the U.N. on our side and convince them that Samra's at fault here. 
Yeah, I know hell hit the murder weapon on board the cargo ship. I agree, better search it again. Don't mind, Buttercup, I think it's best if I search the cargo with Katria. Okay, you can come with me again, Jonah. Alright, let's go now talk to Lars about his lyrics. Hey Lars, how's it going? Fine, uh, just a bit frustrated. Something to do with the letters Katria found? Oh, this is embarrassing. There's nothing embarrassing about those lyrics. It's great that you're getting your mojo back after what you've been through. But the song's crap. I'm stuck here, struggling to make it better while my poor bro is in the hospital. Lars, is this song about Jack? Is this why you haven't visited him? Because you were still working on the lyrics? You don't know Jack doesn't need a song to know you care about him, don't you? He's been asking after you. Why don't you come visit him with us? I guess you're right. And the girls really want to see Uncle Jack. At least I have this cool in unit sunglasses to give him. I have another pair. Yeah, they're yours. Let's give us sunglasses. Okay. How's it going, dude? Lars, bro, I was wondering if you'd ever show up. Sorry, I... I'll explain later, but look who I brought. Uncle Jack, Uncle Jack! Hey, munchkins, the nurse has let you a little beast in here. Did Daddy tell you we can identify Moose Cat now? No, that's... great. Anyway, bro, you got here just in time. They're about to discharge me. That's great. Katia, could you take the girls back to the station? I want to help Jack pack his stuff. Alright, I'm happy he's okay. Uh, he's not dead. Alright, now let's best get this cargo back. Because obviously the weather forecast isn't enough for UN. That Sombra is planning something big. Yeah, those weapons really are softy. I wish I had time to try them out. But sure, we're not here for fun. This briefcase might be locked to hell. Let's open it. Well, you can shoot a few targets while I open this case. Will you? No. <laughs> okay. No, I think this briefcase is a faded paper with Heller's picture. Think you recall the text, Katrina? Oh, I will. Let's find out where are we going next after Alaska. Sombra, of course. Oh, just a file about you. Katrina, hit the jackpot. Summer's logo is all over this paper. Therefore, it looks like Hello's recipe for the UN. Except for this line at the bottom. Memorize this and destroy the document. Katrina, I know what this is. Fake personal info for an agent to learn before going on a cover. We are lucky Hello didn't get rid of this. It proves that he infiltrated the UN under a false identity. You must show this to Miss Malk. Okay, I'll do it. You can't deny that this is enough for you to prove that we, that Sombra exists, so. Best part, Spectre has found proof that Hell was working for Sombra. What's this? Hell's recipe? No, it's his fake identity. It shows that he infiltrated the organization of Sombra's orders. Spectre, yeah, I admit this is concerning news. You will have to look into this Sombra business you keep mentioning. I'll convene a committee to approve further research into the subject. A committee? You think there's time for a debate? Protocol is protocol, Spectia. I can bring all the relevant parts together in about six months. 
Six months! Your United Nations has a mass security breach and you think you're getting Roy for six months? That's all I can offer is like, yeah. Now, if you excuse me, I got work to do. I hate her. I hate her. Chief, we got good news. Jack will be discharged from hospital in an hour. Looks like Jack and Lars have a couple of personal things to figure out. Well, they'd better figure them out fast. With someone trying to pit the Unified Nations against the US, time is not on our side. Hell revealed that creating this court between the US and the UN is just a step in Summer's bigger plan. Divide and conquer. It's not the first time Summer has tried that tactic. They created political unrest in Europe with the Promethean movement. They started off conflict in the Middle East. But all that looks like just a warm-up for what's coming. Given the latest developments of war could be heading for an international crisis. The UN is now aware of Summer's existence, but I won't hold my breath while they bounce the issue from committee to committee. I agree, Katia, we shouldn't wait around. We need to warn the US President. You might have a point. The president is currently at Camp Rushmore. I can get us clearance. Alright, let's do this. Katia, pack your bags. We're going to see the President of the United States. We're going to see Donald Trump, right? Last pet shop. Let me see. What do we have? Alright. 100,350 XP's. About 500 points. And 6,000 coins. I don't think I'm gonna need coins anymore now. So. Okay, I don't have enough coins right now to buy one of them. Wait, let me check out this previous one. Where I have... Alright. I think those ones are better. Because I think they have the, they have the same this uh, 100,000 points uh, for after the end of the crime scene. Alright. I'll buy them later, so... Alright, let's unlock the next case. Who's gonna get killed? And I don't wanna know who's gonna get killed. <laughs> Case 53. Alright, we're gonna stop. Here we go to playing in Case number 53 in North America. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!